This lovely instrument is a piano by John Broadwood and Sons from 1846. And it stood in this room uh, about 170 years. It's got delightful sliding forward candlestick placement so that the lamp can actually shine on the music that's going to be put on the rest here. And it was the most technologically advanced piano of its time. It's the same model that Chopin used to give his last London recital in 1848. It's what we call straight strung, so you'll see when you look at the strings that instead of crossing like that, they just run straight away from the player, which makes them act on the soundboard in a particular way. The dampers, you'll see, are quite light, especially the treble dampers, and that allows the tone to ring on more than you might be used to. You'll see that when you start playing it. There's quite a bit of metal in the case of the piano, there's some struts that brace it from end to end and there's a, a metal plate to which one end of the strings are made fast, that helps with the stability of the tuning, but that back spine as it were of the piano remains just a, a wooden thing, so this is still very much a wooden box that's resonating. It's got rather nice treadle pedals, uh, the left pedal of course is the una corda, which shifts along, unfortunately, not just to one string, but to two, as on a modern piano. So that cuts out one of the strings and makes a softer sound, and the other is the sustaining pedal that you're all used to. This is the sort of piano that Mendelssohn's Songs Without Words, in particular, would have been played upon. Mendelssohn was very, very popular in Victorian England. He spent a lot of time here, and his Songs Without Words combined the maximum of expression with the maximum of possibility. They're not defeatingly difficult, but they give you a chance to express the particular sorts of emotions that people wanted to express in a Victorian saloon like this.